Ticks are vectors of a wide range of disease agents to humans and animals worldwide, including viruses, rickettsia, bacteria, and protozoa. In the United States, where ticks are responsible for more human disease than any other arthropod group, the severity of disease transmission has been increasing, both in terms of incidence and the number of pathogens transmitted. Exposure to the saliva of ticks can also cause adverse reaction, including a condition known as tick paralysis and the development of an allergy to red meat. Collecting ticks through the use of a tick drag is one of several standard methods of tick surveillance. Materials required. Tick drag. Tick drags can be weighted down to prevent the cloth from turning or folding over on itself during the drag or unweighted depending on the area and vegetation surveyed. Masking tape and or lint roller. Tweezers. A plastic bag to contain the masking tape. A suitable container if not using a plastic bag. A permanent marker. A tick drag can be obtained through the DOD supply system or commercial sources. Technique. Walk at a normal pace holding the drag behind you, keeping the drag as flat as possible against the surveyed area. Tick drag should be checked approximately every 30 seconds. If you drag longer, clinging ticks could fall off the drag. At each of your stops, always check both sides of the fabric for ticks. There are two recommended ways to collect and store ticks. Use masking tape or a lint roller to remove ticks, then place them in a sealed plastic bag. Or you can use tweezers to individually remove ticks and place them in a sealed vial. Adult ticks are easily collected with tweezers, but tape is often the easiest method for collecting nymphs and larvae, which are much smaller. Label each vial or bag with the information on the site. Important information includes the location of your sample site, the date of collection, time of day, number of collectors, and the weather information. 